Yes, 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 yes. You and I'll hey. tune in to the multidimensional channel. You know how it goes over here. Multidimensional vibes. We are known as bringing back to back the best of the best. And today, man, you know how many that plasma energy, man. Pretty Derek. Peace and power family, you are now multidimensionally tuned in. In this lecture, we will be talking about the brain, okay, and how to maximize the potential of your brain, you know, how to live tesseractually, or how I like to say it in a layman term, fourth dimensionally, you know, uh, in this ecosystem with your brain. The brain is a tool that we use to process information. Everything you know in this life doesn't need to be stored in your brain. In fact, the best definition for understanding the brain is, you know, uh, that part of our body that, you know, is a receiver, you know, of thoughts to and fro, you know, the, pl the plane of mind or the mental plane. But now you see there's, there's a potential benefit that you can maximize in the short term and for the long run. You know, in the short term and for the long run. And this comes from understanding how to see, you know, the mental forces in your environment move and how to be, you know, in alignment mentally with it. And I'll be teaching you very briefly, okay? So we achieve this by learning about the brainwave states in correspondence to the circadian rhythm of the planet. Okay, our planet has a circadian reading because we live in you know uh you know in the sine wave uh motion of energy flow in our planets you know the cyclical rotation of energy this makes us to have you know uh we are vulnerable to the circadian circadian effect if the sun rises and the sun sets you know we are vulnerable to the circadian circadian effect excuse me so with that being said you see we have four main brainwave states that we can find in happening on a daily basis in our environment, in the ecosystem. And you see these wave states are respectively beta wave, alpha waves, theta waves, and delta waves. And in fact, we also have gamma waves, but I'll be explaining this main four and how we can best synchronize our mind to achieve the maximum right utility utilization of uh this brainwave states uh with our planets now you see anytime you wake up in the morning all right you feel more spiritual okay see when you wake up in the morning say you wake up by 7 a.m or 6 a.m the first hour two hours you're up you know there's more of it you know there's a very the feeling is more you feel more like you're in your dreams in it and but still actively in reality. You see, when you wake up, this is theta. It's a theta state, okay? Now, when you're acting, working, going to the gym, carrying things, this is the uh, beta state, okay? Now, when you're reading, focusing, all right? This is another brainwave state, okay? This is the alpha state. Now, when you're sleeping, that is delta state. Now, when you're about to sleep, that is theta. So, you see, it goes round, all right? In the evening, before you sleep, it's theta. When you're sleeping in the night, it's delta. Before you wake up, it's theta again. After theta, we go now from theta to beta, all right? You have most energy in the in the morning time, say 11 a.m., 10 a.m., right? Okay, that's how it works. Now, you see there are neurotransmitters, okay, in the brain that, that, you know, help us to understand how this, you know, magical circadian rhythm outside is happening internally. Now, why it is important to understand it is that there are certain actions, mental patterns, you know, as well as, you know, um, you know, things, you know, habits that we can build or things we can understand about ourselves that will put us on a good side to, you know, uh, achieve the maximum potential of these neurotransmitters at the time that, you know, uh, the planet itself is, you know, uh, literally projecting the frequency to us, to, you know, um, of that particular neurotransmitter. What am I saying? All right. Now, respectively, we have, right, beta waves, alpha waves, theta waves, and delta waves in correspondence of yang 
to ying, okay? The most external to the most internal. Now, respectively, beta waves is uh, governed by the, the dopamine neurotransmitter, okay? Beta waves is governed by the neuro, the, this, excuse me, the dopamine neurotransmitter. Now, um, alpha waves, okay, is governed by the acetylcholine neurotransmitter, okay? Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that helps us to focus when we're studying. You see, there are things we can you know, do, you know, there are states of being we can be. And in some cases, there are substances that make people to achieve these brainwave states, okay? But naturally, the planet always has the time of the day, every time of the day that it gives us these wave states, okay? So what am I saying? Now, I just mentioned beta, how it corresponds to dopamine. Alpha, how it corresponds to acetylcholine. Now we have theta. Theta now corresponds to gamma amino butyric acid, okay? Now, this is uh, the common neurotransmitter for theta. Theta is the one you listen calm, you know, that's evening time, calm. When you're less active, it's more relaxed, but you can still mentally focus, you know, a bit. You see, you get that. So that is, now the final one is delta. You know, and delta has a lot to do with serotonin. This is the mood neurotransmitter. So now when we now talk about, so let's go, let, let's look at substances that stimulate this parts of the brain for example right now say say now i've explained the time zones that this uh part of the brains are mostly uh, stimulated to perfect function you know uh, corresponding to the time of the planet for example you can't expect to feel a very spiritual yin jimmy frequency by 12 p.m in the afternoon no get your ass up and work all right you feel me unless your body has you know, uh, detached from the secondary room of the planet, which happens sometimes if you have things like insomnia, you see me. So it happens. So, but my point is that you can't detach. So, so my point is that you can detach, but you see, you know, the neurotransmitters of your brain, all right, can also be activated and stimulated by substances. For example, dopamine, you know, when people take marijuana, all right, marijuana is a substance that triggers dopamine. What does dopamine do? Dopamine now makes us to vibrate more, our brain to vibrate more on the wavelength of, you know, uh, beta. What does this mean? So this means that when, you know, a person is, say, smoking sativa, you know, or indica, or, you know, basically marijuana, you know, whatever. So what happens? This person's, this person is going to feel more of the ego, the flesh, external things in your area. They become aware. Are right, you feel me? So that's why. So that's what happens. Okay. Now, when, now let's, now let's, now let's go to, uh, uh, alpha waves. So now what is, what stimulates alpha waves? Acetylcholine. All right. Now, acetylcholine can be stimulated through, you know, certain foods, you know, you know, even certain frequencies you can play to stimulate acetylcholine, okay? So, but you know, so acetylcholine, you know, uh, 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 yeah, so we have acetylcholine, I, I, you know, uh, what else? What, what can I say about acetylcholine right now? Um, acetylcholine is stimulated by, you know, if, if you play beta wave frequency, actually, all right, you feel me? I can't think of any substance in my mind right now that stimulates acetylcholine, but I can tell you meat, all right, you know, I, you know, I, you know, something from uh, the protein in, in certain foods, all right, like meats, you know, stimulate acetylcholine, all right, quote me on this. Now, going to the next one, you know, now when we start talking about theta, theta deals with gamma aminobutyric acid, okay, now what this does is the common neurotransmitter, and then, you know, what stimulates theta, you know, just think about the evening time, you know, these are the things that stimulate theta in the person, okay, the GABA receptors, alcohol, all right, theta targets the GABA receptors, all right, you feel me, because they are receptors that, you know, these things are responsible for. Now, theta targets the GABA receptors, all right, you feel me, now, what is the GABA receptors? The GABA receptors are responsible for, you know, uh, focus, you know, you feel me, and relaxation, but at the same time, you know, this does motor control. So say you're driving now, right, and you drink alcohol. What happens is that when you drink alcohol, you have just, you know, uh, triggered the GABA receptor in your brain. And this is as a result of the brainwave state of gamma aminobutyric acid. Okay, so that's, you know, so that's what happens, you know, with alcohol. Alcohol hits that receptor. So when people take drugs and all these things, what they do is they hit receptors. Receptors have the ability to accelerate the vibration of neurotransmitters in our brain. So it, it creates a speed. It puts it on a certain frequency and certain frequencies, just like how you have root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus, all the way to crown chakra. It's the same thing how we have beta, alpha, theta, delta, gamma. How you feel that? So now let's go to the next one now. Then now serotonin. Serotonin is you know, associated with, you know, when somebody talks about when, you, when you're sleeping, this a dream state, all right, serotonin, you know, uh, uh, it deals with the dream state, okay, you see me, this is like, uh, you know, 
if you read the, the things I have here, you see now here it says serotonin is thought to be a contributor to feelings of well-being and happiness, all right? See, you know, so, you know, when you talk about serotonin, you can think about melatonin. Melatonin is stimulated in the daytime, you know, from the sun. St uh, serotonin is secreted in the nighttime, are you feel me? So, in the darkness, you see, when the eyes is outside the presence of light. So, now, to stimulate serotonin, you know, so, some, you see, substances that do this now will be when people start to take things like, um, uh, 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 excuse me, um, um, you know, uh, ayahuasca, you know, LSD shrooms and what have you, they have a lucid effect. See, they, they feel like they're dreaming in real time. That's because the frequency of the brain has been, you know, altered by a substance that stimulates, you know, serotonin. Okay, so what happens? This now alters reality. Perception is reality. So this is really why people will take shrooms and tell you, oh my God, I feel like I, I met my higher self. I met God. You know, some people say God is this, God is that. You see different type of things, all right? Because it opens you up to yourself and all those type of things. But hear me, you don't have to take no freaking substance to stimulate nothing. This is the whole point of this video. Now, say I want to, you know, you know, be on natural LSD. Then I just wake up by 2, 3 a.m. I can plan and sleep by 7, wake up 3 a.m. All right. For those people who wake up 3 a.m. in the morning to 5 a.m., you know, to start your day, like 4, 5 a.m., those people, they know. Because when you wake up at that time, man, that's the best time to try and spiritually talk to yourself. So you wake up 3 a.m. That's, that's what to do. All right. You feel me? Because you are in the planetary, all right, gamma uh, delta wave serotonin receptors of the planet itself is everywhere in the air you see that so understand you live within a being so just look at it like you that is a being and you have a serotonin receptor in your brain a dopamine receptor alpha beta theta vulnerabilities in your brain the planet has its own it's called micro to macro that's why you have a natal chart and the planet you live in has its own natal chart so you know how to live ecosystemically as above so below as within so without so what is this saying this is going to help you understand how to you know, understand to prioritize and respect your actions as a sovereign living being. Say I wake up in the morning, you feel me? I should understand that, you know, waking up in the morning, one of the first things to do is, you know, engage in a form of spiritual relationship with myself. All right, you feel that? Communicating with God. Why? Because at that time, I just woke up. So I'm in a semi, you know, theta to, you know, delta state. So definitely this is the time where we have the ability to impact more things or, you know, you know, have in, 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 in our reality, the frequency of our reality being, you know, uh, you know, still a bit influenced from the dream state until a couple of, you know, minutes or now when that, you know, transcends and now we start to enter into beta, you know, and in a more awake state. So you see, so with that being said, you know, this is how it works. Okay. So, um, so what am I saying? The evening time you will understand is the best time to do practical things like projects. All right. Now this is the problem with school. School now, you know, designs and makes people be in a system whereby, you know, it, you know, school kind of like, you know, messes up your circadian rhythm a bit. You are you feel me? For example, you want to go to class by 8 a.m. to be doing mathematics. But 8 a.m., there's still a lot of theta waves in the air. I feel me? You know, it doesn't get, you know, very ready for, uh, say, like, um, the focusing one, which is, uh, which is alpha till like 12 p.m., 1 p.m., you know, you see, till I like, say, like, say 11, 12, 1, then 2, 3, 4, you're talking about beta, then in the evening, now we're going to theta, the night one, delta. You get it. So, what have I just done? This video has just explained the circadian rhythm of our planet in correspondence to the mental plane. How you can mentally, you know, uh, you know, how you can mentally alter your reality. But before you alter your reality mentally in real time, you need to understand what state of mind can be used to achieve what state of, you know, uh, accomplishment, be it spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. There are different uh, portions in the day that, you know, create circadian rhythmic effects that stimulate and assist these things. Okay. Just like how right now we're in Taurus season. So you know that this is a season of gardening, planting, sowing seeds of intention, sowing seeds of action as well that you want to see manifest or, you know, ready to harvest when Virgo comes here. Okay. Another earth sign. So that may as well, you know, have, may, let you develop the mental network to understand that that's the same thing for the planet on a daily basis since we live in cycles. So respecting that, you understand that your brain itself, okay, to conclude this video, your brain is designed to correspond and operate perfectly when it is in synchronicity and alignment with the circadian rhythmic 
pattern of our planet you know so you feel me so all right so all that being said this is a video teaching you more about yourself in correlation to the dead planet all right you feel me all right it is one thing to be woke and conscious but it is another thing to you know live uh blissfully in paradise applying this um you know sciences of uh, of easy living you know and also some knowing something like this can help a person to escape from something like drug abuse you see because this video low-key helps you know with drug abuse you know so now you understand why a person you know gets hooked to drugs you know or something you know why a person gets hooked to a habitual pattern you know these neurotransmitters say a lot in it right you feel me say you you like to gamble a lot okay the neurotransmitter that is stimulated in your brain when you gamble a lot is the dopamine you know neurotransmitter all right feel me so if you gamble a lot, you vibrate so much at dopamine. Dopamine is a very external frequency that makes you more vulnerable outside. So you see, this reality is really a spectrum of perception. It's an avatar, but we are really more than what we are here. This is just 1% of the things we see. So you understand that, you know, vibrating on a beta wave just brings your frequency more to the yang, more creative. You create more with, you know, with, with beta wave, you can be not creative, but, you know, it, it just helps you be more to the yang. I won't say creative because you can create in all states of, you know, your brain. But, you know, I mean, creative in, I mean, living itself is creating, but creative in the aspects of, uh, you know, uh, 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 what? You know, uh, uh, actively creating anyways because it pushes out more masculine energy. But all these being understood, you know, you know, now we have, you know, beta, alpha, beta and alpha are masculine, theta and theta are feminine, just like how the daytime is masculine and the nighttime is feminine, the sun is masculine, the moon is feminine, okay, you feel that. Now we have uh, gamma, so some of like, what does gamma do? Now, if you see gamma, the gamma, you know, gamma is associated with, you know, the um, adrenaline neurotransmitter, I like to call it fight or flight, because this is like the highest frequency, you know, um, you know, it says here that, you know, adrenaline, also known as, a, you know, a, a pine frame. You know, if I correct me if I uh, pronounce that wrongly, is a hormone produced in a in a stress or exciting situation, but it stimulates increased heart rate, contracts blood vessels, and dilates airways. So you see, it's very boom, 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 increases more muscle blood flow. You know, increases blood flow to the muscles. You know, and oxygen to the lungs. So you know, you know, so yeah, so we have different frequencies that stimulate these brainwave states as well. Right? So in future videos, I'll be making you know uh, advanced you know. Uh, you know, say, uh, advanced lectures to understand these things in a basic way. I really intended to make this video, uh, beyond nine, uh, say somewhere around nine minutes, but I understood, I got to understand at some point that, you know, um, it is really good to add this video to issues that have to do with drugs. All right, feel me? So if you, if you feel like you're struggling with an addiction, all right, you feel me? Of, 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 you know, dopamine, boom, you can find out why. If you feel like you're struggling with an addiction of serotonin, boom, all right, feel me? But it's very important to uh, keep balance, all right, feel me? So, all that being said, stay on the vibrational, stay multi dimensional. And this video, you know, uh, exposes you or expresses uh, the beauty of this mysteriously undiscovered world we live in, you know, how to know thyself. Peace, multi dimensional. I'm out.